This video is sponsored by Squarespace. If you need a website, a domain, or an online store, make your next move with Squarespace and use the discount code ANDREMAR. G'day there guys. For the holidays, uh, the family and I have come up to Kalbarri, which is around about 600 kilometres north of Perth. It's the first time we've been here as a family. I've actually been here uh, before. Um, and it's an amazing place. There's so many attractions. We've been checking out for the last couple of days uh, the sandstone cliffs. Uh, there's the National Park. There's the Murchison River that winds through the National Park with Nature's Window. Um, and there's even Pink Lake, which is around about 60 kilometres south of here as well. So it is just a, uh, an amazing place, fantastic for um, big kids and little kids. There's uh, lots of young families um, just lazing away their day um, on the beach uh, and, the, and the riverside as well. So uh, there's heaps and heaps for families to do. But I've come out to a place called Mushroom Rock, which is one of the locations in amongst the sandstone cliffs that look out west to the sea. The sun is just going down. You may be able to see just the last of the light on my face. I'm making my way down into the gorge and then out to the beach where uh, Mushroom Rock is. But I'm not going to take a photo of that. I'm going to take a shot looking north and hopefully get some of that uh, sandstone in the shot as well as some of the uh, amazing rocks in the foreground. But I'm running out of light so I'm going to start making my way down there and I'll see you down the bottom. I've set the uh, camera up just on this uh, shelf here, just in front of the water that's rushing by. And I've decided with the, uh, the sun that is just about to uh, go below the horizon and set, I've got this beautiful orange and pretty much red glowing rock in the background uh, in the sandstone. So uh, I've got that coming in from the right hand side. And the 
the blue sky is quite bright so I've decided to just bring that down with a 0.6 hard graduated filter. That just allows me to bring up the exposure and be able to get as much detail as I possibly can in the rocks in the foreground and the, uh, the shadows, all that detail in the foreground which is really important. There's two aspects of the image that I'm just struggling with at the moment. One is that the, the reef that this water is falling off is so wide, is so massive, it's really impressive. But it's pretty much going from one side of the image right through to the other. Even at the lens at 17mm, um, I'm just having to adjust the camera a little bit just to make sure that the composition is nice and balanced and I can get as much of that, that water cascade in the foreground as I can. The other part is getting the shutter speed right. And it is about just timing it, looking at the cycle of the waves as they come in. Some waves are better than others and they put just the right amount of water on top of this reef before it um, before the water starts cascading over the top. Normally I'd be going for a shutter speed of around about one third of a second to maybe two thirds of a second. But just with the sheer amount of water that is just being pushed in by the waves and then um, what's coming through the rocks and down this cascade is just phenomenal. It's an incredible amount of water. So I've been playing around with a much shorter shutter speed because I just want as much uh, detail in the water that's uh, flowing down this reef, but also the water that's being kicked up just in front of that reef as well, which is making a really, really interesting pattern on that final image. So I started off uh, with the amount of light and even with the 0.6. Oh, there's a lot of a lot of water rushing past. So with the amount of light just earlier on, even with a graduated filter that's knocking out a little bit of light in the uh, in the sky, uh, my shutter speed was as quick as 1 11th of a second. That's with an aperture of f11 and ISO 64. I didn't want to put the, the little stopper, the six stop neutral density filter on because that was probably going to increase my uh, shutter speed too much. And looking at the back of the camera, around about um, 11th of a second, 10th of a second, then eventually it got to around about an eighth of a second. There was heaps. Uh, just again, just the amount of water that's coming over that, that edge is just phenomenal and uh, 0.8 is actually capturing a, a huge amount of it, still leaving a little bit of detail and the pattern of the water that's rushing past just in front of that cascade, um, I don't know, it's a quick shutter speed is actually better. So I suppose the lesson here is to just think about the amount of water and how fast it's moving and adjust your shutter speed accordingly. behind me I've noticed that there's a little bit of cloud so I'm going to try and uh, jump over to the other side because I think that the sun has now set and the glow has disappeared from the sandstone and I'll see whether I can find another composition just to end the night. Just before I show you that image that I captured I just want to thank Squarespace for sponsoring this video. The other day I was looking back at how long I've been with Squarespace and I started my first site with them in 2013 seven plus years later and I still enjoy using the platform for building my pages and updating the content on my website. This is basically for two main reasons. It's so quick and easy to make updates. In fact, I can make updates on my phone now. And whatever I upload, whether it's a bunch of my latest images or a new blog post, 
Squarespace makes it look amazing without me having to do much at all. My content looks great on desktop, tablet and mobile phone. After seven years, I can genuinely recommend you check Squarespace out if you're interested in building your own website. You can start your free trial at squarespace.com. And if you do check them out and you want to go ahead with a website, go to squarespace.com forward slash Andrew Marr to get 10% off your first purchase. So the, uh, the evening is coming quickly to an end. The sun set around about 10 or 15 minutes ago. I think I managed to get another shot uh, towards the south where uh, there was a little bit more cloud and uh, some nice colour in it as well. So I've got some foreground and some of the cliffs lit up by just the last of the, uh, the light of the evening. If you enjoyed the video or any of the images that I captured, please give the video a like subscribe if you haven't already for more photography adventures but until next time guys thanks very much for watching <laughs>